Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Dolorusso Field for Northeastern Conference football. Link Classical kicking it off to Revere. And it's going to go out of bounds. Let's see what they do. It looks like they're going to have them kick it again from five yards further back. So classical will re-kick. Classical will re-kick. Revere looking for their third straight win, 2-0. and Head coach Louis Ciccatelli doing a very good job here. They booed away again at the 28-yard line. And Revere will get pretty good field position as they get across the 40-yard line. At the Revere 43-yard line is where they'll put it in play. That's what coming off a big win against Brockton, holding Brockton on a fourth down play at the one yard line, winning at 48-40. Revere sends wideouts everywhere. They hand it off the left side. Bob Oso with the carry. And that's good for five, second and five, Picked up five to the 48. Fernandez dropping back, looking. Woodrow's pass is complete. Number 25, Joe Lanos. That play is good for me. Lianos from Boudreau. And that'll be the first first down of the ball game to the classical 43. Nine yards in the first down. Boudreau was a pretty good story. He came back from an injury. They pitch it, looking to go to the far side. They cut it back to the near side, and they're going to get inside the 25-yard line, down to about the 22. Lianos made the catch for first down. Now he runs for first down to the classical 22, 21 yards, back-to-back -back first downs, and right off the bat, Revere is knocking on the door. Off the left side, cutting it back to the middle, getting extra yards on extra effort, got about five. Second down. Bianos is a story as well. He missed quite a bit of last year. They picked up four. So they get both Pedro and Lianos back for this year, and they're happy to have them. Pedro's only a junior. Leanos in the backfield. Two wideouts to the far side, a wing to the near side. The wing goes in motion. And the pass is incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Intended for Barboza. They're looking Third for down. the quick out to Barboza. Second, oh, excuse me, third and six. 
obviously in four down territory here. They go on the center now. They pitch it off the left side. He's got running room. He's got a first down, a little bit more, down to the 11-yard line. That's good for another Revere Patriots first down. Third first down of the drive. They'll have it first and 10 at the 11. Knocking on the door. Llanos and Boudreaux in the backfield. The wing to the far side, the wide out to the near side. Running off the left side. Getting down to about the 10. They give me a yard. Llanos with the carry. Tackle by number three from the classical, Nicholas Salazi. Second and nine from the 10-yard line. Motion coming. They give it to the motion man. Turn the corner, walking in for the touchdown. Jonathan Murphy. They faked it to Lianos going to the left side. They gave it to Murphy going to the right side. Fifty-seven yards in eight plays. They made it look easy. Snap is low. Kick is no good. Fouled up from the snap. Riazzi is a very good kicker for Revere. He's got a great foot. So right off the bat, Classical falls behind. up just over four minutes to put the ball in the end zone and they jump on top Leano's picking up 33 yards of the 57 he also caught a pass for nine so he accounted for 42 of the 57 Murphy going the final 10 for the touchdown now they kick it away. And they're going to get just Number across the 20 yard line. Kyle Durant. They'll put it at the 21. So right off the bat, Classical has to go to work. Chisono in to replace Ridley, who graduated. A lot of people graduated from classical. Brian Vaughn starting virtual new team. Chisono keeps it. Number two, Daniel Chisono with the carry. Hits it close to the 30. And good for about eight yards, second and two. He got to the 29, he picked up eight. Incomplete. He was looking for Hill on the outside. So it brings up a big down for classical, third and two at their 29. They don't want to turn the ball back to Revere right away. Quick out again, incomplete again. 
He was wide open. Off the hands. And Crossroads would have to kick it away. Not going to go very far. They put it to the 44-yard line. That's a 15-yard kick. Billy Ginepper with the partial block on that one. Three man ball, first and ten. At the so they just got through going 57 in eight plays, and they get the ball back at the 44-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to visit our concession stands. We'll be open throughout the game, and five minutes after the game. So go on up, get a hot dog and a soft drink. Enjoy the game and make sure you throw your trash in the trash can. They go under center. Double wing with a wide out to the near side. Motion coming. Looking to throw. Caught down the sideline. Nice throw, nice catch. Murphy with the catch. Here they come again. They're at the classical 13. 31 yards. Time on the field. Flag on the play. There was a flag on the play. It's coming back. Well, classical had a big break there. We got a holding against Revere. And the holding penalty was two yards behind the line of scrimmage, or a yard behind. We'll bring that back. So it goes back First and 20, Patriots to Revere 45. So it turns out to be an 11 yard penalty. They send one wide out to either side, they go to the spread. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Sequeira was getting up off the bottom of the pile. Second and 20. Second and 20 for the Patriots of Revere. Both White House go to the far side, the wing to the near side. Leano's in the backfield with Boudreaux. Looking to throw. They throw it out in the flat to Leano. He gets a head of steam up. And he make, he gets a lot of yards on that play. That's going to make it a little more comfortable on third down. Third down. At the 38, 17 yards. Alianos off the right side. And they convert the on that, that what was first and 20. And here he goes off the left side. Down near the 20. He picked up five more. Second down. Second down, four yards to go. At the Lake Classical 22. At the 22. Motion. And they give it to the motion man, Murphy. That was the touchdown before. 
Banged out of bounds inside the 10. Thirteen yards on a first down. First and goal at the nine. The wideout goes to the far side. Double wing again. They'll lose a yard, I think. At a tibby, lost a yard. Second and goal from the ten. Seventh play of the drive coming up. It took them eight to go 57. They got good field position at the classical 44 and a shot punt. They overcame the penalty. So they actually have to go a little bit further than 44 with the penalty, but they've done it rather easily. Off the left side, turning the corner, going in the end zone. Zachary Furlong. Again, they faked that sweep to the right. First time they faked sweep to the left and ran right. This time they faked the sweep to the right and go left. Two 10-yard penalty, a touchdown, excuse me. Riazzi will look for the kick. This time the snap is good. And he boots it deep and good. So all of a sudden, two possessions. 44 yards in seven plays. Had a living yard penalty, they had to go 55 yards and they did it. They're over 100 yards of offense. Eighty-six of them on the ground. And they've used a few backs. And Classical will get the ball back. The 10 yard line, running straight ahead, Durant broke a tackle. Number five, Kyle Durant with the nice return. Lynn Classical, first and 10 at the 36. At their own 36 yard line. Oh, a little bit of start in their last time at the 21, but they're going to go to work. They're down two scores. That's the sad part. The good part is they got a lot of football left to play. Sono with the keep. Straight ahead, got a lot of running room, still on his feet. Deep into Riviera territory, down close to the 20 yard line. At the 21. Forty-four yards and a first down. Picked up by Gisono, their first first down. And they're knocking on the door. So, off the right side, gets five or six. So, with the carry for Lynn Classical. Second down. Give them five. They're at the 16 yard line.
The quick out. Can't combine with Hill. Those have been open. Pass. Hill is trying to go upfield. Deshaun was throwing the ball to the outside. Hill's looking at for it on the inside. And they haven't been able to connect yet. They're 0 for 3. Obviously in four down territory here. Two wideouts. One on each side. So in the backfield with Tisono. Tisono is going to get wrapped up. I mean, he's going to wind up losing yardage. Back to the 19. They lost three. with the tackle. Fourth down and classical. Fourth and eight. Looking in the end zone. Incomplete. Hill looked like he had it, couldn't hold on. Question was, would he have been in play anyway? Hill's looking for interference, not going to get it. So what looked promising for classical for the first and 10 at the 21, they give it back to Revere. Against Lee Classico, legal man downfield, Revere declines. Patriots take over. There was a penalty on, on top of that, and it was against Classico. So they were looking for interference. The penalty was against them. Revere refuses, obviously, and Revere will take over at their own 19 yard line. Teams are going to be hard pressed against this Revere team. They can throw. They got multi, multi faceted running runners, and they got a, all kinds of offense. We mentioned Coach Cicatelli doing a very good job. Off the left side, for with the carry. couple of yards. That's good for a couple. Second down. They gave him three to the 22. They go back to the spread. Quick toss over the middle, caught. To about the 43 yard line. That's Bob Olza. That play is good for another Revere Patriot. First down. Out to the 43. They picked up 21. So they can run, they can throw. And we reach the end of the first period. We hear over 100 yards of offense. Classical has 54, 44 of them on the one run by Gisono. Leanos had 52 yards rushing, also caught a pass. Two passes for 26. Well, he's closing in on 100 yards of offense. And his multifaceted offense has given Classical a lot of difficulty. Two 10 yard touchdown runs. They're two for two drives, and they're moving the ball now for the first and 10 at their own 43. Nice job here at Delarusso Field refurbishing. He 
this used to be a place where people didn't want to come to play. They still don't want to wait as good as Revere has become. Revere will be leaving the Northeastern Conference and going to the GBL next year. With a head of steam coming to the near side. And getting close to midfield. Second down. They put it at the 48. He picked up five. Second down and five. Two white outs to the far side, a wing to the near side. Now motion. Faking, rolling. But Rowe's going to be in trouble. He runs out of bounds at the 41 yard line. The railroad on the stop for Wing Classical. Going to lose seven yards on the play. Couldn't find anybody downfield. <coughs> rolling to his right, looking. And the new rule is if he threw that ball away, it's intentional grounding, even if he's out of the box. If he threw it out of play. So he couldn't throw it away, it would have been a penalty. And it would have been from the spot and a loss of down. Under the new federation rules, rather than the NCAA rules that they used to go by. A lot of rule changes. Double wide outs to either side this time as they go spread. Boudreau looking. In trouble again. Still in trouble. He's going to get dumped again. Back at the 30. He lost 11 more. But he lost 18 yards in two plays trying to throw. They've been running the ball really well. All of a sudden, they thought they'd go to the air, and it hasn't been successful. They need 23. So they're going to kick it away. Makes a little bit of a revere bounce. And Costco will get decent field position. The punch is down at the 40. Lynn Classical takes over first and 10. Lynn Classical. Put it right at the Classical 40 yard line. A 30 yard punt. No return, so a 30 yard net. Glasgow will have their best start looking at their 40 yard line. Straight ahead with so. Out to the 44. Picked up Second four. Down. Second and six. Three white outs to the near side. They dropped the ball. Fumble on the play. Chisono never got the ball to hand it off. He had it, dropped it, so saved it. They lost two yards, but that's better than losing the football. Third and, Third and eight. eight. Again, three white outs to the near side. Just someone looking to throw. Gets hit and dropped. Jesse, he was about to let it go. A lot of black shirts all over him. They're going to put it at the 37. They lost five. Oscar will have to kick it away. Look 
like they got a piece of it. Takes a pretty good classical roll to the Revere 35 yard line. Ball is down by Quintana. 35 yard net punt. At the yard line. Revere will have decent field position. Point of sweep to the right side. Very short gain for Furlong. They give him two. Second and eight. Early part of the second period, Revere scored in their first two possessions. Costco finally shut them down the last time. Second and eight. Double wideouts to either side. The wing is to the near side for now as they go to the spread. Running straight ahead. The Arnolds gets across the 40. Guerrero hit on the tackle, third down. At the 42, he picked up five. Third and three. Third and three. From the Patriot, 42. Revere leading it. 13 nothing. The double white house to the near side, the wing to the far side. Now motion. They gave it to the wing. He gets hit. And knocked down. Barboza with the carry. That was Barboza. And the Rears going to have to kick it away. They lost four. Fielded at the 26 yard line. Nice return. Help near the 40 yard line. Durant doing a nice job. Durant with the return. Tackle by number 50, Jared Benson. And classical again will have on the play. field position at their 40, but we got to look and see what the flag is about. That usually means against classical holding. Holding on the returning team. And they're going to knock it off. They mark it from the point of the foul. And that's going to be a huge penalty against Glasgow. All the way back to the 17 yard line. So instead of having the ball at the 40, in essence, it becomes a 23 yard penalty. Just past the halfway mark of the second period. Gisono out, caught, and dropped. He had Durant wide open and couldn't hold on. Pass intended to number five, Kyle Durant. They're still Complete looking for their first down. completion. Second and 10 from the 17.
Nice run by So. Calvin So with the carry. First down, Lake Classical. Number five, Durant with the reception. Jonathan Murphy in on the tackle. Classical going quickly. Ball's loose. Dominic Reed. They lose back to the 21. Trying to turn the corner. Ronos with the carry. Probably going to lose a yard. Darren Oregi with the tackle. Second down. Well, they lost a yard on the play. It'll be second down and 11. Under four minutes when they snap the football. Wing and the White House go to the far side. Over the middle quickly. Caught, staying on his feet. In the end zone. Boudreau to Barboza. So they go to the year and they get the touchdown. Ryan Riazzi with the extra point. Four minute warning, four minutes. Timeout in the field, timeout Patriots. Brazil will take a timeout, just under four minutes left. They take advantage. They make it three out of four touchdowns possessions, but they only ran two plays. One was a minus one, and they get the 22-yard touchdown pass. Revere's closing in on 150 yards of offense. They lead it 19 to nothing. With 3.51 left in the first half. Classical has two first downs. A long run by Gisono and a quick 14 yard burst by So. Otherwise they've been shut down. They only have 55 yards of offense. 44 on a run by Gisono, 19 on a run by So. Okay, here's the point after try for the Patriots. They're looking to go for two. Now oh, that's going to cost them because they have two guys in motion. Flag on the play. It's illegal motion on the Patriots. We'll redo the try on the field for the extra point. Well, now they're not going to go for two. They're going to have Riazzi kick it. And we told you, Shane has got a foot and a half. He's going to be. There are going to be some teams looking at him, college-wise. 
Well, he just boots that high and wide and almost kicked it out of the park. So they convert on the turnover. Revere building up 20 points. He missed his first extra point, but that was because the snap was no good. He couldn't get the ball down. So we will kick it off again. They only have 78 yards rushing, but that's, they lost 18 yards in those two plays by Bedrill trying to throw the ball. And that touchdown pass was their first first down here in the fourth period, in the second period. Back just about to the goal line, looking to run it out. And that's not too bad by Durant. Durant with the return. Augusto Cagavis with the tackle. They get out to the 26. First and 10, Lynn Classical at the 26 yard line. So at the 26, it'll be first and 10 for the Rams. I was going to like it on the board, get a little momentum going in the locker room and get the ball to start the second half. Try to get a little closer, but Revere's defense has been tough. One big run by Jasono, a mediocre, medium run by So, and that's been the offense in the first half so far. Quick out. And they're going to lose yardage. Summers with the reception. Summers with the catch. Barbosa with the tackle. Second down. They lost two. So gets a little opening. Runs for a first down. Nice job. Line to open up a hole. He gets out to the 41. 17 yards and a first down. Three wideouts to the near side. One to the far side. The quick out. Nice catch. And nice run down close to the 40 yard line. Summers again. Summers with reception. And a Timmy with the tackle check. Time out on the field. Go from the 41 to the 41. 18 yards in the first down. And we'll get a timeout. They've completed their last three, hadn't completed a pass up until the last couple of possessions. They completed their last three. One of them for a loss of two, but they get the big one, 18 yards to give them a first down in Revere territory. <laughs> this is their first trip across midfield. They'd like to make the most of it. Three wideouts to the near side, one to the far side. So in the backfield with Jasono. Also trying to beat the clock here and get on the board. Jasono with the keep. Gets about five. Second and five. 
they take it out, they throw it deep, just a little too far looking for Durant. Timmons at number five, Kyle Durant, incomplete, third down. Obviously four down territory here at the 36. So I get two downs to make five yards. To the sideline. Nice catch by Summers. It'll be a first down at the 29. They picked up seven. So they move the chains, they hold on to the football. They stay with three White House to the near side, one to the far side. Over the middle, caught nicely cutting into the middle, inside the 15. 10, Hill with the catch. Classical first down. First down at the 12. They picked up 17. So all of a sudden they picked it up, throwing the ball. They give it to So. He gets a little help from his friends. Gets inside the 10 to the 9. Second down. From the nine, over the middle, caught and dropped. Had it, and it just couldn't hold on. Passing that was Summers. For 12, Summers he broke from the far side to the goalpost. To show no hit him, maybe a little Third bit down. low. Couldn't hold on. Third down from the nine. To show no stepping up. In a crowd, what a nice play by Jasono. He got wrapped up, couldn't go anywhere. It looked like he was going down, and he finds Hill for the touchdown. That's an outstanding play by Jasono. They wrapped him up. They had him around the waist, the legs, but he had presence of mind to look up. He saw Hill alone, and he gets him the ball. So that's going to help Clasco get a little momentum going into the locker room. Durant with the extra point drive. 74 yards in 10 plays. Durant will look for the kick. And he line drives it through. Another at the play here in the first half. We've had 20, Clasco 7. So they only ran three plays. They did it mostly through the air. Hospital goes over 100 yards. They had two first downs going into that drive. Picked up five on that drive. Oscar will kick it off. A little short kick. They're going to get Revere. Pretty good position. At the Revere 42. So I thought maybe they might kick it deep. But Revere's got. Decent field position where they can run or throw from here. Time winding down in this first half.
They try to run it straight ahead. Looked like he was stopped the line of scrimmage. He fought him for a couple of yards. Revere takes a timeout. They gave him a yard to the 43. Now, rushed for 62. Also caught a couple of passes for 26. Closing in on 100 yards of offense. Revere scored the first two times they had the ball. Glasgow shut them down a couple of times, but then they came up with a fumble at the Glasgow 21 yard line. They lost the yard, then a big 22 yard pass play from Boudreau to Barboza. Made it 20 nothing before Glasgow went 74 yards, most of them on the right arm of Gisono. So picked up 20 on the drive. Let's see what Revere does at second and nine. They fake the pitch. They run it to the right side. Barbosa with the carry. Barbosa with the carry. Sneaks it into classical territory at the 49. Picked up eight. Third down and a yard. Revere going quickly. High in the air, nice catch, and then he couldn't hold on. Looked like they had him for a big Man, first down. Day, Let's see if Revere goes here. They need a yard. I don't think they're going to kick the football with time winding down. Boudreaux is coming back out. They only need a yard. They've been running the ball well. They're going to throw. They let it fly long and deep, incomplete. I'm kind of surprised. I know the time is running down. There's only eight seconds on the clock, but they needed a yard. Now they give classical a shot to throw it downfield. Now they're saying the clock was off. That, so that was the last play of the half. So Revere puts three on the board. Classical gets the last one. Classical gets a little momentum going to the locker room, trying to lead to 20 to seven at halftime. Revere over Classical here at Dela Russo. Revere Field. will kick it off as we're set to start the second half. They're leading it 20 to seven. Classical, let's see if that momentum carries over. We told you. Riazzi's he's got a foot, he kicked it into the end zone. So the touchback. They bring it out to the 20 with the touchback. Revere had 87 yards rushing, 69 passing, eight first downs. Classical had 77 rushing, 52 passing. Most of that coming on the last drive. And seven first downs, most of those coming on that last touchdown drive. Three wideouts to the far side, one to the near side. So in the backfield with Gisono. Motion coming to the near side. Faking, looking, they let it fly deep. Caught by Durant. He got behind the defense and he gets into Revere territory. 
Nice throw by Jasono. Durant ran under it. To the Revere 35 yard line, 45 yards in a first down. So gets loose up the middle. All the way down near the five yard line. Thirty yards by So. He's getting close to a hundred yards. First and goal. So finds a spot and runs it in. That didn't take long. So just like that, after trailing twenty to nothing. Glasgow gets two straight touchdowns, one to end the half, one to begin the second half. 80 yards in three plays. And they certainly are capable of doing that. Durant kicks it through, and all of a sudden it's a six-point game. Well, Classical battling right back. That momentum carries over. It didn't take long. A lot of football left to play. They cut it to six. Well, Classical defense has to go to work. Get the ball back. had that big scoring day. They put up 48 points against Brockton. So they have some weapons, that's for sure. So has been a major contributor. Oh, fine, he is this year. He's only a junior. Kick is short, and it goes out of bounds. The kick is out of bounds. Out of bounds at the 35. They just chipped it. And they're going to have Classical kick it again from five yards further back. You got Riazzo from Revere kicking the ball into the end zone. You got Classical popping it up, having it go about 20 yards. Kind of a line drive. It wound up with a lineman bounced off. And then it was Dylan Day falling on it. And Revere has got excellent field position at the Revere 46 yard line. They kind of got away from their offense. The first two touchdowns, they ran the ball well with Lianos. And starting the second period, they started to throw it. They lost 18 yards in two plays. They lost four more on the second series. They got a break when they recovered the fumble. Only had to go 21 yards. They run off the right side, and here he goes. He's gone. 54 yards, Leon. I just talked about him. They faked the pitch to the near side, gave it to Leonos going to the right side. He goes 54 yards for the touchdown. That's a 54 yards for the touchdown. It puts him over 100 yards. They go 54 yards in one play. And that all that classical momentum. It's taken away very quickly. We haven't played. We played a minute and two seconds in this third period. We've had two touchdowns. And most of that was eaten up by Classical on their three plays. 
Four plays, two scores. Looks like they're gonna go for two again. Trying to make up for that missed extra point. They don't get it. So it's 26 14, and Revere very quickly will kick off again. Hundred forty one yards rushing for Revere, hundred and sixteen by Leano. Ninety seven yard passing by Jasono, eighty two yards rushing by So. Normally that would be enough to give you the lead, but they're down. Two touchdowns. Short kick that time. Riazzi with the kickoff and the tackle. First down, classical at their own 35. They put it down at the classical 35 yard line. So you gotta go to work again. They're gonna send the three wideouts to the far side. One to the near side. So gets ahead of steam up. That was that play was going straight ahead up the middle. He bounced it off the line and gets about nine. He picked up nine. He's closing in on a hundred yards. Jasono with the keep gets the first down and a little bit more. They lost the ball and Revere gets their second turnover. Billy Vern Genepra. Billy Genepra on the recovery. They got to the Revere 47. <laughs> and that's where Revere will put it in play. Gotta get to midfield. Battles with the carry. Second down. Picks up three. Second and seven from midfield. Second and seven for me there at the 50 yard line. Second turnover. Deshano had a big first down inside Revere territory. They knocked it loose. And Burn Ginepri fell on it. Quick out. Classical saying they have the football. Let's see what the official says. They're Burn discussing it now. Classical They're giving it to classical. I didn't see who came up with it. First and ten classical at the Patriot 46 yard line. So classical gets a turnover.
at the 46. Well, one good turn deserves another. A double of wideouts to either side. The snap goes all the way back. Chisono winds up with it. And he throws it downfield. And he winds up with a completion. How do you like that? You'd rather be lucky than good. Obviously, you'd like to be both. They got 15 yards on that broken play. Great play by just That's two great plays he's made. That was going to be about a 30-yard loss. So it gets close to five. He got five. Second and five. That was going to be the length of Western Avenue for you Lynn people. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. They lose back to the 33. Third and 12, Third and 12 now. Looking to the sideline to Brian Vaughn to get a play. Dropping back, looking to throw, and Revere saying, they got to throw it, so let's go get Chisono. They knock him back to the 40-yard line. They lost seven more. Fourth and 19. And looks like class was going to go. Complete. complete way Number short of the Summers first down to Summers. Summers. Second down, Summers. Second down, Summers. Is there a flag on the play? Illegal man downfield. Illegal man downfield. Yeah. I guess the offense Revere that could the refuse this because they're going to get... Take over on down. They made 15 yards on the play, but first they turned the ball over. So we will take the ball at their own 25. Coming to the near side, spinning away. Getting a couple. They give him four to the 29. Second and six for the Patriots. Leading at 26 to 14. Woodrow looking, rolling, in trouble. Let's it fly downfield. Overthrows everybody. Just about halfway through. this third period. If Matt scores. Third and six. Revere at their own 34 yard line. 
Actually, Glasgow's winning by a point here in the third period. Seven to six. Durant's foot, the difference here in the third period. Third and six for the Patriots. They send double wideouts and the wing to the far side. We go. The quick out. Caught. Slipping a tackle. Barboza with the catch. Did he get the first down? It's going to be a yard shy. They put it to 34. They picked up five. Fourth down and a yard. And leading 26 to 14. Time out on the field. I think Revere wants to talk about it. They probably have half the coaching staff saying kick it away. The other half is probably saying we can make a yard. Give it to Leonos. Revere scored their first two possessions. In the first period, they decided to go to the air in the second period. They lost 18 yards in two plays, kicked it away. They lost four more in their second possession, kicked it away. But then they got a big break when they recovered a fumble at the 21 yard line. They lost a yard, but then 22 yards the pass from Boudreau to Barboza pushed the lead to 20 to nothing. Glasgow went 74 yards in 10 plays, mostly on the arm of Gisono. He made a great play. He was getting hit. He had people all around him. They had him with his legs, his hips, but he didn't have his right arm. And he was able to stay on his feet and throw the pass to Jeffrey Hill for the touchdown. And that momentum carried over the second half when Glasgow went 80 in three plays to cut it to 20 to 14. But then Leonos, Leonos, Leonos went 54. Boy, this is going to be close. They needed a yard. They, I don't know if they got it. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. Good defense by the Rams, and they get the ball at the 34-yard line. So an opportunity to get back in the game. They keep the three wideouts to the near side. So for a yard or two. So on the carry, tackle by Ellie Mesa. They give him two. Flag on the play. Looking deep, there's a flag on the play. <coughs> Somebody infringed. It's against classical. Legal motion against classical. Replay second down. That's that new rule where if you move or you make contact or get back before the ball is snapped. Second and 12. They blow the whistle as soon as the infringement is made and it costs five. <laughs> Quick out. Caught by Durant for short yardage. Durant with the reception. Third down. They picked up five. They got the five back. 
Now they need eight on third down, obviously four down territory here. Over the middle. Looking for Summers, incomplete. Fourth and 12 for Classical. Fourth and eight, nine for the Cowbells. Fourth down, Classical will go. No sense punting from here. They need eight. And they were ready. Now they're back ready. Ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. Tip incomplete. Revere will take over. First and ten. Revere goes 32. Thank you, Cowbell. Classical's move the ball. They got 250 yards of offense. <laughs> Revere will take over. At their 32. Revere. Over 220, Vasco, over 250. Trying to run straight ahead. Knocked down. Let's see if they gave him anything on the play. They give him two. Second and eight from the 34. Winding down this third period. Withdraw rolling. Barbosa with the catch. Out to the 46. They need eight, they got 12. They'll hold on to the football. Leading 26 to 14. Don't forget to visit our concession stands, ladies and gentlemen. Hot and cold food and drink all the good stuff. Going down and pay the position. First down, we bid. The wing to the near side, two white outs to the far side. Boudreaux looking to throw. Pass intended for Jonathan Murphy, incomplete. Incomplete. He had him open. Second and ten. And again, we were kind of getting away from their bread and butter. They were running the ball the first two series. Leonis was doing a real nice job. When they gave it back to him, he went 54 yards for a touchdown. All of a sudden now they start throwing the ball. Two white outs to the far side, one to the near side, the wing is to the far side. Boudreaux in trouble. Dumps the little screen off to Lianos. Works perfectly down to the 31 32 yard line. Anytime they get him involved, they're going well. Twenty two yards in the first down. And they're at the classical thirty two. They 
had everybody thinking he was throwing out wide. He dumped it over the middle. The Arnolds had it, got a head of steam up. He gets involved. They go forward. Looking to throw again, incomplete. He was looking for Murphy. Leonis has run for 125 yards. He's only had four carries in his third period. One of them 54 yards for a touchdown. Double white outs to either side. Rianos with the carry. Gets inside the 30. He picked up three. Two big plays for the Patriots. Two big plays for the classical defense. Boudreaux in trouble. Dumps it off. Leonos gets loose down the sideline. It's coming back. He's in for the touchdown, but it's coming back. Boudreaux a little jump pass. He rolled right, threw it back to the left. Leonos took care of it after that, but it's coming back. They gave him to the 17 yard line. They gave him 12. And now they're going to mark it back at the 27. Goes back to third down and five. He picked up 12 and then lost 10. And it will be third and five. And of course, I talked before about Rayan Riazzi having a foot and a half. They're probably within field goal distance right now. Third and five. Boudreaux over the middle. Incomplete. They had him. Barboza had the ball. Looked like it was in the end zone for a touchdown. And they call it incomplete. What a break for Classical. Barboza saying, I broke the plane. Fourth and five from the 27. Riazzi with the field goal attempt. This is a 44 yard attempt. And the 44. That would have been good from 60. What a foot he's got. What a weapon to have in your arsenal, him. Just over a minute left. They open up a 15-point lead with that 
three-point field goal. 44, that would have been good. That was Manning Field that would have been out of the park. They almost kicked it out of the park here at Della Russo. Kick it off. They're closing in on 300 yards. They got 273 yards of offense. Flag on the play. Kick went out of bounds. Kick went out of bounds. Now, do you want Riaz to kick it over? He just kicked that field goal and went out of sight. He only reached the 30-yard line on the kickoff. He'll have him kick over again. I might have wanted to take it at the 30-yard line. He's liable to kick it in the end zone. He'll kick it from the 35 now. Great weapon to have. Reach in your bag and go out there and kick a 44-yard field goal. That's a kick and a half for the pros. And there's another kick and a half as he kicks it into the end zone. So Classical could have had it at the 30 and said they're going to get it at the 20. Classical takes the ball. He's a weapon both offensively and defensively. He can pin you deep. Team. It's going to be a sight to see when Revere comes to Manning Field to play English near the end of the season. That'll be a bond burner. The quick out. Not going Out anywhere. With the tackle. Down. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Also trying to go quickly and beat the clock here in the third period. So gets loose. Nice so run. He has been very impressive. He goes over 100 yards. Ten yards in the first down. Official timeout on the field. Well, they short change him by. A, a I'm giving him ten yards. The stripe of the football is what he missed. Quick out is caught, and that Summers. First down. Summers with reception. Out to the 41. 41. Picked up 11. All right, at the end of the third quarter. And we reached the end of the period. So 12 minutes of football left. They're almost virtual numbers. 273 yards of offense for Revere, 11 first downs. 276 yards for Classical, 11 first downs. They're three yards apart. Offensively, but on the scoreboard, it's 29 to 14 because they've got a couple of big plays. That one big drive to start the ball game.
short fields. He only had to go 44 yards for their second. A fumble recovery got him a short field for their third. Leonos went 54. From the 41. Summers with the catch. To reveal 44. 15 yards in the first down. Summers playing extremely well. Gisola, we're first carry in a long time. Gisola with the run. Ali Mazer in on the tackle. Second down. Pass incomplete. Pass intended to Quintana. Pass incomplete. Third down. He was looking for Quintana. Four down territory here, no question. They need seven. Wide open. And had it, looked like a first down. Andy De Leon. They called it a catch. First down. Down to the 25. He had it, he fumbled it out of bounds. Incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Second down. Second and ten. They give it to So. So with the carry. John Trenton on the tackle. Third down. Down to the 20. Actually, the 19. He picked up six. Chisono. So got buried in the backfield. He thought he had the football. Chisono picks up a couple. Fifth and one. Cowbell time. Actually, they gave him to the 16 yard line, so they gave him three. Fourth and a yard. Quick out. De Leon with the catch. Walks in for the touchdown. De Leon with the reception from Casono. De Leon, I believe that's his first touchdown. The extra point is no good. They missed the extra point. 
So it's still a two score game. With just over nine minutes left. So the 21-yard touchdown pass to De Leon. Uh, you might see an onside kick here. They need two scores. Shono's closing in on 200 yards passing. Just outside the 25. Breaking a couple of tackles. Staying on his feet. Jonathan Murphy Getting across the 40 yard line. Flags on the play. Flag on the play. This usually means a hold or a legal block or Usually something against the receiving team. They call personal foul against classical. Personal foul against classical. Well, that's a big one. All the way to the classical 43. Yeah, first and 10 at the classical 43 yard line. They get the first down by way of penalty. They'll have it at the 43 yard line. Second, third effort. Gets him down to the 36. He got seven. Second down. Actually gave him a 38 for five. Bangs forward again. He'll pick up the first down. Second effort again. Gets him to the third. He picked up eight more. At the 30. Eating up the clock, picking up some yardage, leading by nine. And they let Leano's take charge here with the, they stop it. It usually means five against Revere. Fall start on the offense. We're going to move it back to the 35. It'll be first and 15. Patriots at the classical 35. White outs in the wing and to the far side. They go under center. Leano's the deep man. He gets the pitch. 
turns the corner, slips a tackle, stays on his feet, he's gone. He does it again. So every time Clasco thinks they're getting close. A hundred and seventy six yards rushing. They had to go 48 to pick up 58 because they had 15 yard penalty against Glasgow. Yeah. Riazzi kicks it through. So Glasgow's now in a two touchdown hole needing two two-point conversions. Besides that, rear vehicles over 300 yards of offense. Almost halfway through this fourth period. That's what put up numbers. The Shona was passed for 197, so was Rush for 114. Summers has caught passes for 61. Shona was passed for three scores. Touchback that weapon. Can't run it back for a score. Get the, ball the, the ball's in and out of the end zone. It's like having a pro kicker on your team. If, Pat, if Pat's a might like to have seat. him, the way Kosowski's missing extra points, they might like to have Riazzi. Hill makes the catch. They picked up five. Rolling. Incomplete. Let's see what the flag is about. Classical. And he'll push him back. Make sure you visit our concession stands and tell them Bobby Lynch and the crew sent you. They move him back. It's an 11 yard penalty. They move him back to the 14. Complete. Third down. And 16. Double wideouts to either side. The solo dropping straight back. Incomplete. Kevin Natola broke up that pass. It's fourth down. 
Fourth and about 16 for Classical. Time out on the field. Time out on the field. I know Brian Vaughn likes to roll the dice, but I don't think he can do anything here except punt it away. Past the halfway mark of this fourth period. Revere took charge, scoring the first two touchdowns, two 10 yard runs, one after an opening drive of 57 yards. The second one had to go 44. They recovered a fumble to make it 20 to nothing halfway through. Pascal beat the clock and got a touchdown. Jashono making a great play, wrapped up, looked like he was going down. He stayed up long enough to throw it to Hill, nine yards for a touchdown. It was 27 and a half time. Pascal came out, the momentum carried, they scored right away. 80 yards in three plays, 30 picked up by Show after a 45 yard run of five yard pass play from Jashono to Durant, and so went five, but then Leonos came right back, and now Classical is gonna go. Flag on the play. We're gonna flag on the play, stopping the play. Leonos went 54 to push it back to two scores. Correction, time out on the field. Time out, Patriots. Classical got back within 29-20 on a nice pass Once again, thank you, from Chisono to Andy DeLeon. Well, but then it was Leonos again, going 25. Ball's back at the 14 yard line. They need 16 yards. That's what's saying. What's the difference with time running out? What if we lose by two scores or three scores? Let's go for it. They lob it down. Pass intended. Incomplete. Jeffrey Hill is incomplete. And the Revere Patriots take over on down. Revere will have it at the, at the classical 14 yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, we have exits on both sides of the side of the stadium. Exits all the way to your left, all the way to your right. And also underneath the 50 yard line, right in the middle. So. Two score lead. Late in this fourth period. Revere is going to go to 3 0. Class is going to lose another tough game, go to 1 and 2. They won't get two wins in a row. Bouncing it to the outside. Manos with the carry. Leonos is down. He's not getting up. Special timeout on the field. Now he's up. Favoring that right foot. He had a problem last year. They don't want to lose him. They lost him for a while last year at Boston. They lost Boudreaux and Leonos last year. I think it was Leonos. One had an arm injury. I think it was Boudreaux. I think Leonos had a broken leg. He's on the sideline trying to stretch it out. Murphy with the carry. Murphy with the carry. Gets down near the five. Fumble on the play, recovered by Classical. 
fumble on the play, Klaus was going to get the football. And I think that's Murphy that's down. So Murphy got down to the five yard line. Classical first attempt at the old five yard line. So Classical gets the ball back. Don't forget Bismarck's success to see us before you go. And keep those cowbells ringing. Long way away from the end zone. Both teams have turned the ball over a couple of times on fumbles. Glasgow was a little more dear than Revere because they fumbled at the 21 yard line and gave Revere a short field and they scored two plays later on a 22 yard pass play. Open up that 20 to nothing lead. Just too big a mountain for classical to climb. But I know they'd love to have a long drive here and get on the board, make it respectable. Fly deep and complete. Pass attendant number 10, Jeffrey Hill. That's incomplete. Second down. Leon with the catch. Marco Simone with the tackle. Third Out down. To the nine, he picked up four. Letting it fly again. Classical's looking for interference. They don't get it. Now they do get it. The flag down. Flag on the play. I think it comes back at the line of scrimmage. I think it'll be a first down. That little four-yard pass to De Leon got Desona over 200 yards. He'll mark off yardage. Penalty against Revere. From the nine. That's a pass interference against the Patriots. Used to be the spot of the foul, now it's 15 yards from the line of scrimmage. That'll give Glasgow a first down on their own 25. They marked it to the 25, they gave him 16 yards. Quick out, caught. Pass to Peter to Jeffrey Hill. Hill with the catch. Got six. Four man warning. The difference now is a four minute warning, not a two minute warning. Shano bobbled it, he's going to lose the artist. Lucky he held on to the football. They lost 12, eight. Classical. Third and 12. 
as they go quickly. So it's a four-minute warning instead of a two-minute warning. Three timeouts and a half instead of five. Pass interference is from the line of scrimmage. And there's no personal fouls. There's only three categories, I think. DeSono rolling. Let's supply. Pass intended to number 21, De Leon. Incomplete. Incomplete. It's fourth down. Fourth down and 12. It's fourth down, cowbell time. Revere Hansi trying to look in the goal. They know he has to throw the ball. They're going after Gisono. That's a fly. Caught. Hill with, Hill the, with the catch. Down to Revere 31. First down classical. 46 yards in the first down. Rolling. DeSoto has to keep it. Let's see where the shade went out of bounds. Second down. Second down at the Revere, 27. Long and deep and way out of bounds. Looking for Sequeira. We haven't seen, he hasn't caught one up yet. So it's incomplete. Third down. Third and six. Classical. Third and six. So straight up the middle, nobody anywhere near him. He walks in for a touchdown. They're all going after Chisono. One hundred and forty one yards. For so, and a kick is blocked. Extra point conversion is no good. The attempt is no good. So, with about two minutes to go, Revere 36, Classical 26. Four hundred and twenty-one yards of offense for the Rams. They had to go a lot further than Revere had to go on their drive. Ninety-five yards in twelve plays, helped out by a pass interference. And you're gonna see an onside kick here. Without question. Everybody be looking for the football. They tap it to the 50 yard line. Riazzi picks it up and he's gone. He played it on a hop and he runs it in for a touchdown. He found another way to beat you.
So they don't have, they don't let classical have any momentum at all. And he takes the onside kick to the house. Touchdown! Classical looking to get the ball. They kicked it. It took a big hop right along the near sideline, right in front of the classical bench. Riazzi picked it up. He had one step to beat everybody who was going after the ball. Everybody was racing to the ball. Once he got by the first set of players, there was nobody back there even coming close. And he boots the extra point. So he returns the kick. 50 yards for the score. Two minutes to go in the game. Revere 43. Two minutes classical left. Classical 26. And Revere officially is going to go to 4 and 0. Classical officially is going to go to 1 and 3. They've been hard pressed even if they recover the onside kick. But they need two scores. And there's only two minutes left. But so Classical has put up. So has run for 141 yards. Hill caught passes for 78. Summers for 61. Durant for 50. De Leon has a couple of catches, one for a touchdown. 253 yards passing for Jusono. 168 yards rushing for Glasgow. Ready for the kick. 421 yards, and they're going to get the ball back again. For Rivera has had the answer. Once they got that 20-point lead, they just said, well, if you score, we'll just score right after you. And they basically kept that 20-point lead all the way through. As the kick is out, to the 30-yard line. Castro They're returned by Angel Valenzuela Castro. Castro first 10 out there. And this will be their last shell ball as we're down under two minutes. And a shout out to my favorite hairdresser, Lynn DeMazzo. Thank you for the haircut, Lynn. Three hundred and thirty yards for the Patriots, but you look at the score, one of their drives was only forty four yards, another drive was only twenty two yards, twenty one yards. And then the fumble recovery he just ran it in for a score, so they run for two ten and pass for one twenty. Leano says hundred and seventy eight, and we hope he's gonna be okay. He went out with that injury. He looked like he was okay on the sideline. Glasgow had some buzz saws. They had to play. It's actually their fourth game. They played a game against Catholic Memorial, an exclusionary game. Didn't count for Glasgow. It was like a scrimmage for Glasgow, but it counted for Catholic Memorial. So they played Castle Royal, they played a very good Patriots team. They played a good Brockton team. And had a stop for Brockton on fourth on a fourth down play at the one yard line to win 48-40. So they've been putting up some big numbers. De Leon with the catch. Down. He picked up five. Quick out, looking for a first down. They get it out to the 45 yard line. It'll stop the clock momentarily. That's, that's the first catch. First down, classical. Over the middle, almost picked off. Look at the hill breaking through. 
I can't believe they didn't make that catch. Second and ten. Took out inside the fifty. Tackles uh, with the tackle. Third down. Eight yards. Incomplete. Pass is a little incomplete. And this could be it for classical their last play, I mean. Fourth down. Fourth down. How about time? Tishono hit Hill for nine and a touchdown. He hooked up with Durant for 45 to set up a five yard run by So. 21 yards to De Leon. So with the carry, that's a classical first down. Timeout, classical. Down to the 25. First and 10 at the Revere 24. Gave him to the 24. Hundred and eighty-two yards for so the rent squad pass for fifty. So with the run out of bounds at the nineteen. Out of bounds at the 19. Second down. Runs it to the 10. And that's going to do it. So Summers caught passes for 69. Durant, 50. Hill caught passes for 78. Add in De Leon. Tishono passes for 275. Glasgow runs for 137. They put over 400 yards of offense, but they can't shut the Patriots down. Leanos ran for 178 and a couple of touchdowns. Riazzi had that 44-yard field goal. He kicked a kick return. Boudreaux passed for a touchdown over 100 yards. Tishono had a great game. Glasgow puts over 400 yards. He passed to Hill. So goes 182 yards for the day, gets a couple of touchdowns, but Revere got that big 20 to nothing lead. Glasgow put too big a hole, they couldn't get out of it, and Revere will go 3-0. and Glasgow dropped to 1-2. and Revere, 43. Glasgow, 26. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.